Welcome back to another episode from Tam Cam. Yes, that is me. Me is her, Tam Cam. Hey, okay. In today's video, I'll be talking about some things, you guys. Some things we need to just leave in 2019, okay? We are entering into a new decade. Yes, a new decade, 2020, and we need a fresh start, okay? Every year should be a fresh start, but boo, 2019, some things just need to be left left there okay today is the last day that we need to see these things cutting up in 2019 december 31st and that's it we're not bringing this into january 1st 2020 we're not bringing this into tomorrow y'all we're gonna leave it here okay so you guys before we get started into this video and if you have seen my face before go ahead and click that subscribe button down below that good old red button and turn it gray hit that bell notification next to the subscribe button so you can be notified every time when i post a new video okay so you guys i have my good old clever fox planner here where i write down all my notes and everything i use this a lot just to plan my life and this is like mainly just for youtube and working out so so I have some notes here on some things that we just need to leave in 2019, okay? Leave it here and don't bring it back tomorrow, okay? The first thing that we need to leave in 2019 is these crazy natural hair trends, okay? And y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? I'm talking about using the Dawn dishwashing soap, the car wash soap, the laundry detergent soap, you know, the fish bowl soap. But, you know, it's just like, look... I might be going overboard with my list, but y'all get the gist. Like, I'm just so tired of seeing all these trends, y'all. Like, why can't y'all just use shampoo? I mean, it's made there to wash your hair. Like, I mean, why you gotta go and get stuff from out? You know, you're washing your dishes and you're gonna put it in your hair. And I know, I, I looked at the research. It said to use, like, a dime-sized amount of dawn soap if you felt like your hair was super greasy or something like that no y'all just dousing your hair with a bunch of dawn soap baby please just 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 don't do it okay this year was full of natural hair trends and i understand you know you want to kind of keep up with the trends you know so you can get your views and this is that but some trends just do not need to be followed and just needs to be the next thing that we're gonna leave in 2019 is the wet look. Now I know y'all sitting here like, why the wet look? Um, if you do not know what the wet look is, it's pretty much when you like your hair is dry, but you douse it with like product, and it looks wet, but it's not wet. But I feel like I've seen too many wet looks that look dry, like crusty dry. Okay, like. I need a spray bottle dry, you know, like I done slap my hair down, slipped it down and I could lift it up and it's coming up with me dry. Like I'm just like, just leave the wet look in 2019, baby. It's not working out for everybody. It's not for everybody. It's not, I'ma just put it out there. I mean, I don't, no one don't wanna say it. I'ma just say it, just throw the wet look away y'all. Just keep it to the people that know how to do the wet look, okay? I ain't never attempted because I'm not trying to walk around with a stiff, wet look. I'm not going to do it. I'm not. The next thing that we're going to leave in 2019 is negativity. You guys, I've seen so much negativity this year. It was just insane. Negativity, like people just negative towards each other. Like you could be sitting here happy in a relationship, getting married, and someone has something negative to say. Like, oh, you're getting married too fast. Oh, you know, she fake with this relationship. Oh, she, you know, this and that. This is like... You guys, why you cannot be happy for one another? Like, I don't understand what's so hard about that. Like, why is negativity a trend? Like, literally, someone could post something on Instagram and people be so quick to say something negative about whatever is posted instead of like, okay, saying something positive. Like, it could be a positive post and someone still finds something negative to say about the post. It's like... Are you serious? Like, I don't know. Misery loves company. I, I'm, 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 I guess so. The next thing that we're going to leave in 2019 is, now don't come for me. Don't come for me. 
But y'all, I have to say this, y'all. Them bad lace fronts. Oh my gosh, y'all. Them bad lace fronts. You know what I'm talking about. Like, they have some bomb, bomb lace fronts where it's like, sis, what lace? Okay, and then they have like the lace fronts that be like, I could lace, you could lace me up right now. You know, you can make a dress with all that lace that I see, you know, on you. Like, I mean, it's just like right there. Not hitting, like lifting up, you know, just like. We gonna move on. The next thing on my list is the cancel culture. Oh my gosh, that like this was a year of the cancel culture. Like I feel like cancel culture and negativity like kind of like goes hand in hand. Like the cancel culture was just insane this year. Like, but the cancel culture, y'all. Pretty much cancel culture. Pretty much someone may do something bad or like a company does something bad and a group of people might just be like, oh, you're canceled. I'm not going to deal with you no more or whatever. I'm not going to, we're not going to support you no more this year. Or we're not going to support you at all. You know, whatever, whatever. Like you're, you're fully canceled. You're canceled. I'm like, and it'd be like the craziest thing. It's like, I feel like in today's world, everything, like people are so sensitive like the world is ridiculously sensitive so it's like every single situation is canceled you're canceled because you didn't support this you canceled because you didn't post this you canceled because you know it's just and a crazy thing about this like let's say like for example like let's say houston houston's restaurant okay let's say you know they always have a dress code of you know pretty much no i don't know if they have like one of you no know, wearing hats but like they have like pretty much you you wear like dressy casual or like casual clothes or whatever like that to Houston's restaurants. So like you don't come in there like with a basketball jersey and like you know like you don't come in there looking like you about to hit the basketball court pretty much. Okay, like you don't come in there like a certain type of way because they have a dress code. Like a lot of nice restaurants have dress codes. So don't all of a sudden sit here and be like oh houston's canceled because they're not gonna let me in because i had this long white tee this baseball hat and everything else on and you see that they've been having the same dress code for how many years now and all of a sudden they canceled because they didn't let you in because you didn't follow the dress code like it's like i feel like the cancel culture like this year it's like people cancel things just because they didn't like being told the truth about something or like they didn't want to follow the rules and felt like they can just get a get away with the rules like no boo like you can't sit here and cancel everything you know that that makes you upset no boo no and the main thing that disturbed me about the cancel culture is the fact that someone could sit here and be like oh walmart's canceled today but you want to go to walmart when they had that black friday sale or this place is canceled today but if one of your friends invites you to that same place, you gonna still go. Like, if you gonna do the whole cancel thing, baby, live up to it and cancel it for life. Don't cancel it for a, a month. Cancel it for a second. Cancel it for real. Okay, because all this fake cancel culture is getting on my nerves. And let me move on to the next one because I'm getting agitated already. Canceled. So the next thing on my list is, I don't know if y'all see this, but I be seeing this in New Orleans so much and it gets on my nerves. I've been seeing this on the gram as well. The bulletproof vest with the dudes. Y'all, why y'all wearing bulletproof vests to Walmart? Why y'all wearing bulletproof vests just going out to the club? Like, why are you wearing these things? This is not a cute trend. Like, who made this trend of wearing bulletproof vests and you not a cop? Like, I'm like... And then the thing is, they don't even be like real bulletproof vests. Like they're like, you know, like the little, the puff puff jacket or whatever, just look like a bulletproof vest or something like that. It's just like, like, are you like, I don't, I don't, I don't even know where to, to, to continue with that. We're going to continue. Okay. The next thing on my list that is just like, whoo, y'all don't come for me again. Please don't come for me. Is the over exaggerated eyelashes. Now, y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the eyelashes that look like, like that, okay? Like, the lashes that like the finger lint lashes. Like, it's just like, 
they're not natural okay and i'm not saying it's just because i don't wear lashes like some people have some like bomb individual lashes or some bomb like you know magnetic whatever lashes that they get you know done or whatever like some people really have some like, nice nice lashes when they get them done but then i'll be seeing some people that be like sis now you i can see that your lash is sitting on the lid like on the lid lid and it's like this okay like it's just like like I, if i could see it i know you could see it and like and the, you do you really approve of these lashes you coming outside like this like okay whatever i don't know the over exaggerated lashes please leave in 2019 i do not want to see them no more baby and some of them be hanging to the side and all that stuff like it'd be it'd be too much too much y'all the second to the last thing on my list to leave in 2019 now these are some new pair of pants that i've been seeing lately i i feel like i've seen them like towards the beginning of the year and now i'm starting to see them way too much and i'm starting to really like hate them like they're like these kind of like fitted jeans or whatever like our pants and they have like these ruffles at the bottom like these I don't like it's scrunched up at the bottom or something like that. If I can find a picture, I'm going to put it right here. But like they're like super scrunched up or whatever. Some weird looking pants. Now I'm not going to even much lie. I see one person on Instagram and she sells clothes. I can't think of her name off, off the top of my head. But if I can find her Instagram, I will post it right here in that picture. But I seen she was selling some jeans that had like the little rough or whatever. And that was the very first time that I seen those jeans in those style of pants period and so i was like okay those are cute so like i actually want those pants but i'm like i don't you know i don't know how they're gonna look on me because i'm kind of short but then now i'm starting to see those pants in literally jean sequins yellow blue orange turtle black cow like i'm just starting to see it in all different types of prints and colors and waveforms and it's just like they don't not look cute no more like it's just like I hate like when a style of clothing comes out like and then people just overdo it with the prints and the colors and everything else like I felt like the jean was just like that nice little touch it just had that one thing that one pair of pants in the jeans material but now it's just like it's too much going on and I'm just like y'all please stop because some people it just don't look right and with the colors it just don't look right but I mean to each his own i'm no fashion guru but you know you do what you want sis do what you want so the last thing on my list to leave in 2019 is these felines i guess they're dad shoes or something like that or bubble shoes i don't freaking know but they're pretty much the big old clunky feline shoes now i'm not gonna lie about this again i did low-key want them shoes when i first started seeing them out all the time but then when i put them on my feet I think I had went to journeys. I put them on my feet and I was like, ooh, they just look, they look ridiculous. Like, I'm just like, these not it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the dad shoe trend, like, I like, you know, some dad shoes, they're cute. But then felines ones can just go in the trash. And then they like just starting to look super cheap. Like you just, I don't know, I feel like when I see a lot of people wearing the same shoe or the same piece of clothing, it just start looking cheap to me for some odd reason. But those feline shoes just look so freaking cheap. And felines is so old anyways. So it's just like, just throw it away. Like we don't need it no more. We're we not going to bring that in 2020. So you guys, so that completes my list of everything that I think needs to stay in 2019 and not come to 2020. So if you have any other things or items that need to like stay in this year today, December 31st, 2019, okay? Stay here. This is the last day we want to see it, okay? Go ahead and list it down in the comment box below. And let's go ahead and talk about something that we want to leave in this year, 2019, and not bring tomorrow into 2020, okay? So, you guys, if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give this video a nice thumbs up. And if you have not already, which I hope you did, go ahead and click that red button down below and turn it gray. And hit that bell notification next to the subscribe button so you can be notified every time I want to post a new video. Bye, guys, and happy new year. Hey, 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 hey.